Hello, my dear ones, in the latest update on the weather situation that may occur at the beginning of next week, and I mean this, dangerous wind and storms possibly in Western Europe. My dear ones, as you can see, this time in a slightly different presentation style, let me know in the comments if this format is okay. Generally, it will be one way sometimes, another way at other times. I say this right away, depending on the possibilities. And at this moment, we have satellite images of the current situation in Poland in the evening hours on Saturday. However, we need to move primarily over to the Atlantic Ocean. And here, we see a quite specific situation in the northern part of the Atlantic Ocean. Here I mark my dear ones, Poland. I do this because some of you watch these forecasts and analyses on your phones, and on the phone, these maps may be... Of course, it's unreadable, so let's begin. My dear ones, we have lows here. We have lows that are forming around Canada. These lows are moving southward. We have a high here. The high is very well visible over the Atlantic Ocean. And here, in this area that I am marking for you, a low will form in the near future, in the coming hours, probably on Sunday. This low has already been named. This low is called Quiteria, and in the coming hours after its formation, it will begin to move along the jet stream towards Europe, including towards Poland. Let's take a look, my dear, at how this situation might look at the moment. This time, I am also focusing here on WX chart to discuss this situation with you in more detail. My dear, Sunday at the hour, at 15 Nassam, the low pressure system Quieteria is visible here, marked with an exclamation point, so you know. Here we obviously have Poland. Sunday at 17 no, the low pressure system. Pauline continues to dominate over Poland. Although its center will be over Finland with a pressure of 974 HPA, Ah, but we will still feel this low over Poland, the weather will be a bit different. However, let's check how the latest calculations guide us with this low. The pressure will start to drop quite quickly over the British Isles, over Ireland, among others. We see 1000 HPA in this low, and we start at 1920. Here we see some discrepancies, already some differences compared to the last calculations. Dear friends, we see that the low pressure system has a pressure of 981 hectopascals, which means it will likely be over northern Germany on Tuesday around 5 or 7 p.m. It will then head north with a very rapidly falling pressure of about 1520 hectopascals. On Wednesday around 2 p.m. it should be over the southern part of Sweden, 963 hectopascals, so very rapidly falling pressure. This will indicate quite strong wind gusts, including in Poland. Let's take a look at the GFS model to see how it views this situation. Here we see a quite similar situation, so on the 17th, the formation of this low, as marked in the ECMWF model, on the 18th, it will move here to Ireland, and the pressure will drop. And again, here we have Tuesday 5 p.m., and this low somewhere over northern Germany, so we have some consistency in these calculations. Let's check the ICON model. The ICON model sees a very similar situation here, with the movement and drop in pressure, noting that the ICON model predicts a stronger drop in pressure already over the North Sea, right here over this area. It should drop according to the ICON model, the ECMWF model, and the EGFS. The pressure should drop more significantly somewhere over the Baltic Sea, so we still have some discrepancies here, and these discrepancies are very important in terms of wind gusts. Let's check how these gusts look. In this case, I have already selected the wind strength so that we can... Together, we will see how the wind strength will look over the next few days in this comparison. So let's start here primarily with the GFS model. We see quite a specific situation here, the situation in the case of the GFS model. As you have seen, the movement of this low should be somewhere like this. So the strongest wind gusts we would have in Europe would be around France. Here these gusts would be really very large. Southern Germany also, the northern Gine part, one of the Mediterranean Sea, Croatia, and the north, and Iden, Indin, and Dinin to the north. This scenario is quite interesting, however. Let's take a look at the scenario of the ECMWF model 
In the case of the ECMWF model, we have a similar situation. Why do we have such strong wind gusts here? Because there will be another low moving towards the Gulf of Genoa, which I also mentioned in a separate episode, but here we are more focused on Poland and Europe. In the case of the ECMWF model and the latest updates, we see that we would have very strong gusts over the Baltic Sea of up to 120 or 130 km per hour, and we should pay attention to this uh, area. As for the British Isles and the North Sea, gusts could reach 100 or 110 km per hour, northern Germany up to 80 or 90 km per hour, while the north and west of Poland could see gusts of 70 or 80 km per hour. Let's check the calculations from the ICON model. And in the case of the ICON model, we have up to 20 and 21. In the case of the ICON model, we see a very dangerous situation continuously in Western Europe. Here, wind gusts on the coast of the Kingdom of the Netherlands, also known as Belgium, Holland, could reach 140 or 150 km peaks per hour, with the UK also experiencing such strong wind gusts. In this case, we would have the most difficult situation in this area, as the low would deepen very strongly, and very quickly somewhere over Sweden, which would cause a very strong flow of air masses from the north towards the south, and this would again lead to those strong wind gusts. In the near future, we will definitely have quite a few more updates to know more precisely how this situation will look. If the ICON model is rather the leading model here, then we are preparing for a storm or hurricane in Western Europe, because just because it will be in Western Europe does not mean it will also be in Poland. My dear ones, in Poland at this moment, even according to the negative scenario of the ICON model, which switched for me at this moment, but to which I returned the strongest wind gusts are up to 60 or 70 km h. The most dangerous situation would be in this area. And the winds would be the strongest here, with the strongest wind gusts occurring in this area. And we would really have to be very careful regarding this wind. However, regarding Poland, these gusts should be weaker. I will highlight this area once again. Here, up to 150 km per hour, according to the scenario of this icon model. My dear ones, let me know if such forecasts are also clear to you. They are a bit more dynamic, a bit different. We will see, the comments are yours, and we will see each other in the next episode, uh, in the next material. Best regards.